All right, so what is up, everybody? Um, I'm making this video for a homie off of Reddit specifically, but you know what? I figured since I spent the time making the presets and stuff and doing this tutorial, I figured, you know what? I'm going to post this to YouTube and share this preset with you. Um, yes, it's a Chris Travis preset, but that can apply to anyone in his style or just vocals like that, period. Um, so this preset includes all the layers for recording and mixing it into that sound, and also includes a master preset that goes with the sound perfectly. So we're going to start off from the beginning. Um, so say you go to where you downloaded the uh, preset, extract it the way you extract it. You're going to go into here, and you're going to go into your little things where I have all the FST files, okay? So now you're going to go from your home right here, and you're going to press Documents, and you're going to look for Image Line, okay? Once you get into Image Line, you're going to look for FL Studio. Go to FL Studio, go to Presets, Mixer Presets, and just drag and drop all of these into there. So now, once you get into FL, you're going to have to go into your Options, File, um, manage plugins. This is FL20, by the way. And then press find installed plugins. That's basically refreshing everything you just installed. So here we go. So, first thing I usually add, and I already recorded before the video, but all vocal slayers are raw. So, we're going to be mixing them within this video. So, first things first, you're going to want to put your beat in and kind of sync the beat to the lines and make sure that it's on sync and the BPM's right. I usually put it on track one um, just to have space between the master and the first vocal preset. So we're going to go to our master um, channel, go to file, and we're going to look for Chris Travis master preset. We're going to click on that. Now we're just going to add all the presets in. So we're going to go Chris Travis main vocals. Chris Travis left vocals. Chris Travis right vocals. And then finally, you're going to add Chris Travis double vocals. Now, I don't know why the the they're all like everywhere. But for this one, I'm just going to put them down to about 2.8. And I'm just going to have them all on the same level. So yeah, so basically, here's the layers I recorded now. And, and by, by the way, I meant to say this. Uh, make sure you click on any one of these channels with your mic and you go up here to where it says none. And basically, you just select your mic and then you press the red button down here. It's gray, but it turns red to enable recording. Um, usually it'll connect to the master and you can hear it. You just click this little triangle and it gets it away and you can't monitor no more. So we got to remember that this our number two track is the main, main vocal. So basically we're going to mute the beat and we're just going to listen and try to find the main, main vocal, which one we think it is. So let's start with this one. Okay, so we're just going to listen for this one and try to find out. All right. I cannot hear the vocals at all. 
Um, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, okay. Let's try again. Oh, okay. I know exactly why. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to find the layers that we want to be on each channel. Uh, an Apple fan, so way to splash your activist while you sit. Versus this. Uh, an Apple fan, so way to splash your So we want that one to be the double. So if we look carefully, our double is on five. So we're going to go to five for this one. Number two for the main vocal. So now the effect that we have with the beat is this. And now retrospectively, we're going to add three and four to the left and right. So one needs to go to three, which you want to be on the left. One needs to go on four, which you want to be on right. Uh, typically, we put these up a little bit, but you, um, you can keep them level or you can move them down a bit. It's up to you. But yeah, so now here's everything together. Um, the beat is not mixed great. But yeah, let's just hear everything together with all the presets just real quick so we can make this video not be super long. So here we go. And yeah, and that's basically how you do the free Travis Scott pro preset. So specifically to the dude I met on Reddit, bro, I hope you got some help from this video. And I hope that you're like genuinely like learning, you know, and to anyone else that's watching this on YouTube. um, Yeah, man, like uh, I want to hear your songs if you're using this preset. So it's your boy, Lil Sanju, and I'll see you guys later.